I wonder what sort of video this is going to be. Hey, it's Jay and welcome to this edition and yes, look, there's a pumpkin. It's October the 30th and so I will be doing a bit of pumpkin carving. Now, I have to admit I have never carved a pumpkin before in my life because for the fear of all the negativity that's going to come from this, I don't really do Halloween. Okay, I've got my yeah, boo t-shirt on, what have you, but I don't really do Halloween because I've always thought of it as an American thing that's come over here and, you know, it's not British at all. So, whilst I'm doing this first ever attempt at a pumpkin carve, I've uh, got some information here on my phone um, about what Halloween's actually really about. So, um, I'm not actually going to draw on it, which I, apparently I should, uh, because I can't find a marker pen. So I've got various bits and pieces here that I'm going to try and use, and we're going to see how this goes. So I know you've got to take top off first. So, ooh, ooh gosh, Halloween. Ugh. Oh, talking while doing this, probably not a good idea. Right, Halloween, yes. So, 31st of October, All Hallows Eve, the day before All Saints Day. Um, and why do we celebrate, or why do things happen on this day? Well, in actual truth, no one really knows. It's just sort of happened over time. There are lots of theories, lots of um, ideas as to why... Oh, it's going to come out there. Yeah. There we go. Um, as to why uh, we celebrate Halloween. Um... Some think it's the pagan. Oh, this stinks. Oh dear, uh, the pagan thing. Ooh. Uh, some think it links to. Ooh. You know, it's actually really difficult talking and doing something at the same time. I don't know how people who vlog all this time know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> do what they do. Okay. Um, yeah, Celtic is where a lot of people think of it and it's to do with the um, yeah obviously end of harvest um, and the you know coming of the darker nights and things like that and lighting fires because of obviously it's a yeah it's darker earlier so people light fires and it was a way of having a fire but obviously inside a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern, is what they're called. Ugh. Right. Okay. So, apparently there's no meaning, no... Apparently there's no mention in any Anglo-Saxon writing of Halloween. In the medieval period, which is 1066 to uh, 1485, um, it was nothing else than All Saints Day. But then the 19th century, so 1800s onwards, it's got this reputation of being a night for witches and ghosts and spirits and things like that to be prominent. Celts believed that evil spirits came in the dark, and the fires, as I was saying, the fires brought um, safety, okay? So they would light fires. Nowadays, we, we, we have moved our fire celebration, as it were, which is the pagan one, to the 5th of November to coincide with the um, Guy Fawkes Night, of course. Lots of traditions since that time. Um, there's one in uh, Lancashire, I believe, where it's the uh, carrying around a candle, and if the candle went out, you were being followed by a spirit, or a witch. Obviously, it's all the witch hunt trials and all of that business of the time as well. Um, north of England, there's the nut crack. You put nuts on the open fire, and 
it would represent something to do with the love of your life, something to that effect. Um, Snap Apple, uh, which is a game, well, <laughs> it's a rather scary game by reading it here. It is where you have an apple and on the end of a string and a lighted candle on the other and it's swung round in the air and you've got to try and bite the apple. Now obviously we have a much safer bobbing for apples now. I wouldn't fancy trying to get an apple that's got a lighted candle on the other end of it. I think I'm down into the flesh. Um, and in, it links with Mischief Night, which is November the 4th, um, with practical jokes. And that's where the thing of trick-or-treating came in. And actually, that's actually where... That's the part that I really do not like, the trick-or-treating. Um, mainly because of, and I'm pretty sure people out there can get the idea of this, was you know older kids, and I say kids um, in the broadest terms, you know, teenagers going around, basically it's extortion with just sticking a mask on. Um, I mean, I don't mind little kids coming around and dressing up and etc. Whoops! There we go. Um, but when it's older kids, I really don't like that. Uh, what else can I tell you? talking because I can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, that's quite good, I can't please with that. <laughs> Give it a nicer effect. So yeah, Halloween. Um, yeah, I like dressing up, yeah, I like having fun and I like whatever, um, but actually, you know, it's not just an American thing, it's actually got roots in English history, in British history, so maybe I shouldn't be so down on Halloween, maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, I'm now going to see what this looks like, I'm going to get a candle, put it in, and then go somewhere a bit darker, because I'm doing this in the middle of the day, yeah, well planned, Jay, well planned, um, and then we'll see what it looks like, so bear with. And as if by magic the pumpkin is gone. Now I'm going to go and show you it in the airy cupboard, which is where I've put it. So, bear with again. Okay, just remember this was my first attempt. So. Not bad. Even if I do say so myself. Not bad at all. So happy Halloween, people. Happy Halloween.